Hi friends, this is Abhinav Bhargav and in this video we are going to see about the RBI. Let us see some facts. Uh, it commenced its operations on 1st April 1935 during the British rule in accordance with the provisions of the Reserve Bank of India Act 1934. And following India's independence on 15th August 1947, the RBI was nationalized on 1st January 1949. And the preamble of RBI describes its basic functions and those are these that is to regulate the issue of bank notes to keep the reserves to secure monetary stability in india and to operate the currency and credit system in the best interest of the country and here something very interesting what you can notice is the financial year of the rbi is 1st july to 30th june whereas for other banks it is normally from 1st april to 31st march and rbi is a member bank of the asian clearing union now let us see how it all started that is a history part uh, the Reserve Bank of India was founded on 1st April 1935 to respond to the economic troubles after the First World War. And the Reserve Bank of India was conceptualized based on the guidelines presented by Dr. Ambedkar to the Royal Commission on Indian Currency and Finance in 1925. And the commission members found Dr. Ambedkar's book that is the problem of the rupee, its problems and its solution as a reference tool and then the central legislative assembly eventually passed these guidelines as the rbi act 1934 and the bank was set up based on the recommendations of the 1926 royal commission on indian currency and finance which is also known as hilton young commission here the original choice of the seal of rbi was the east india company double mohawk which is this with a sketch of a lion and a palm tree However, it was decided to replace the lion with the tiger, the national animal of India. Here it is. Then, the central office of the RBI was established in Calcutta, was uh, moved to Bombay in the year 1937. And RBI also acted as Burma's central bank, except during the years of Japanese occupation of Burma in the year 1942 to 45 until April 1947, even though Burma seceded from Indian Union in the year 1937. RBI, after the partition of India in 1947, the RBI bank served as the central bank for Pakistan until June 1948. And RBI has been fully owned by the government of India since its nationalization in the year 1949. So this is all we are going to see in the next videos that is the structure of RBI and the functions of RBI. Thank you.